What's up, it's Johnny, and welcome back to episode, I think this is 14, of the GTA 5 campaign walkthrough. Uh, my game crashed, and I have to um, do half this mission over, so this kind of sucks. So we are Trevor. Uh, we last left off, I'm pretty sure I was actually Michael on a, on a, on a formula or something like that, then. next to Trevor's house. Um, but it crashed halfway through that, so uh, now we're here. So now we gotta do this entire shit over again. So, uh, yeah. That's how things are happening over here. Can I, where'd my clothes go? Also, whose house is this? We go ahead and ask that. My question is actually, if I don't have clothes on and I go to a mission, is it gonna put clothes on me? I kinda hope so. <clears throat> Cause that would suck if it didn't. Oh, sorry, I was looking at my shit on the bottom of my screen. <laughs> uh, my, my second monitor. God, I can't drive. Also, it's, it's, it's 7 a.m. Here we go. Tally's on the line too. Hey, Trev. All right. I need your whole crew over at Cape Catfish. We're. I know where that's at. It is. It's like over here in, the, in this general vicinity. I think it's. Like, I think. It, I think it's right here. Moving on the chemical weapons plant. Nah, 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 nah. I just gave something to Lester. I need to deal with some stuff. Get back to Los Santos. Just, uh, give me a week. We got the equipment with your Polito money. The gangbanger's already on the way. The window's open, my friend, and you are jumping out of it. Shit. Shit. Los Santos ain't going anywhere, bud. What the hell? Okay. Alright, it's actually not there. It is... Here. That's where it's at. I knew it was somewhere over there. Alright, we are pulling up as we speak. Again, I don't have clothes. So, I'm hoping it, just, it doesn't put clothes on us. Okay. Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael. Business. Alright? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, <clears throat> a gentleman of leisure. Oh. You know, you know, frankly, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us, please it's just fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Oh, oh, ho, hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You, Dave did. No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a freaking lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, Fuck uh, uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And I fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great They're working job, with us, sir. Hey, you want this job? You're a part of us. Then come with us, huh? Come on, come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. <clears throat> Depressed Accountant. Let's he go call save his bluff. America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency. And they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah. Which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right. So let me get this straight then. No, 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 no. There is no getting it straight. That's the point. Now we're doing this. <coughs> you two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're huh. with us. What size flipper you wear? <laughs> I just can't believe you have no, you have no clothes on. That's, that's so funny to me. Agent okay. Norton, been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we say for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Absolutely. Wouldn't have it any other way. It's not far. Listen to me, Steve. 
No wise cracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're, We're gonna go around these uh, rocks. Today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here goes. Okay. Let's do the dang thing. God, I hate swimming in games. It's so scary. The fu- Oh, hell nah, dude. Hell no. Get me out of here. Let me, f let me, f let me come out of here as fast as I can, because I'm not dealing with that. I don't care if it's a dolphin or not. Water's scary. Hate water, dude. There'll be a grate over the outlet. Town Lee, <clears throat> you got the cutter. When we get there, go to work punching through. Roger that. You got it, boss. I'm taking the oxyhydro cutter to the grate. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and cut this. tedious as hell but it's got to be done sometimes you want work done and gotta do tedious stuff that here we go open that up coach let me in there I can't enter to the lab. This is disgusting, by the way. He just said he pretty much peed his pants. So. The problem with this job is I only get to know the criminals who are dumb enough to get themselves caught. Yeah, only I wasn't caught, remember? I turned myself in. He makes a point. That makes you doubly dumb. Doubly dumb? Is that what he just said? I'm gonna pass you, bro. Slow ass. There we go. Nice. How are we? Huh? We ready? I was born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. Lead the way. Bank robber, set your phaser to stun. 
Dave, you're on point. I'm leading from the rear. Come on, let's go! We can do this thing. We have a taser, so... Don't be a hero! Drop your weapon! Yo, who are you? Mark him up, Michael! I'm gonna okay. shoot him on a super yeah, face. Get in and out, baby. As best as we can. So what exactly does a neurotoxin look like? Elevator coming. Body on board. Stay vigilant. I'm about to literally tase the shitty out of this guy. Collect a swipe card. Next you got it, coach. Come on. How you feel about this? I feel pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Round to the right. Come on. We're fine. Move on. You see the last Okay, we got two guys in here. Trouble from these two. Out of bang. Along here and to the left. Come on, push through. Shut up. What are you yelling at me? I'm gonna spot as I can. Stay against this wall. Security is scheduled to come through here. I said we take him out. They're on us. Make a judgment call. I did. <laughs> Perfect. Didn't really go as planned, but they shot me in my back, so that's a good time. Very good time. Use the card on that swiper. Lab rat in the cage up ahead should have the secret sauce. Come on. Give us access. Who are you people? Door can only be triggered internally. Pause it. We got company. I got this. Handle it, boss. What's nerd face worth? Get the nerve agent. Over there. The dang thing. This will make me the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh man. Thank you, federal government. Why wouldn't you just take the canister? You know? Like, I don't know about putting a, that nerve These shit in here. Have done enough good work for today. Put them to sleep. Hold on. Anyway, I'm saying like into a refrigeration unit. Warning, I don't know if putting a, a toxic released. vial like that in my body right like Uh sure do. Someone's been hit. Handle it, boss. Let's keep moving. I'm through here. Drop in. Let's get out of here. Poke it. My partner's down. I don't want to be here either. Get this idiot. Perfect. Let's go. Yeah, we can go. This is for the greater good. Sorry, I'm just I'm just not freaking corridor goes around to the left. Messing around. I don't think they'd ever think this would happen to me either. But honestly, I'm not freaking running out in the middle of shit either. Like that. Like, what are you... Like, this guy's smart. He's actually, like, behind cover. But I'm not running out in the middle of shit when someone's got guns. They look on the ass of that one? That's weird. Look at this idiot! 
Okay. Yeah, two guys left. You want to play with me? Hey, bud. Idiot. Put the agent on ice. Refrigeration units in that container. Okay. Here we go. Get her on ice before the sell by. Okay, stay. Uh, easy does it, Em. Just as I was getting used to having the apocalypse in my pocket. There you go. Phillips is on his way. Good. Get this thing ready to move. I'm just a couple of clicks out. Is the package ready? Package is ready. Get over here, man. I can't believe they spent the Hey, I got clothes on now. Thank God. The flying pig rig. And we need a flying pig rig right now. Kinda in a way I wish they didn't put clothes on me though. That'd be, fun that'd be funny. Just a naked guy flying a multi-million dollar helicopter. Okay. Go ahead and turn this bad boy around. Hey. How are you gonna get out of that? Like, I can't let like, you just got shot, whatever, whatever. But how are you going to explain that? You know what I'm saying? Like, how are you gonna explain that? Like, why are you here? Like, it's so obvious to me, anyway. Not run this into the freaking side of the mountain here. Maybe they'll debrief him with a 12 inch aluminum flashlight. Ain't to be easy way out. We're the ones hoping we'll outrun the agency response team. I think Franklin's the one taking the easy way. Guy's got his feet up in an aircraft hangar. Look, let's just get to the airport so we can finish this bullshit. When you try agree. This is about to be extremely difficult. Hold on. Got it. Chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'm doing my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe <laughs> this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Ah, you and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What is this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. Well, what about him, man? Well, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll Him and his movies, right. man. What a shit show. 
I'll tell you what, you can take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's going to be <clears throat> cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. As it should, as it should. Noise. Now, I just hope it doesn't crash, man. I was kind of hoping I could save it there, but... <sighs> we'll see what happens here. Man, it's gross out here. And you, of course, picked a freaking convertible truck. I think uh, Trevor's got a little crush. To be honest with you, man. I think he likes this lady a lot. She like cleaned his house, man. I tell you something right there. Probably just gave her something to do, to be honest, but it is what it is. Like who you like. He's like, no, stay. You better treat her right, man. I will, amigo. Yeah, otherwise, <laughs> the other ear. Yeah. <laughs> The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Good friends. Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for the statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Man, my boy's been going through it. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and freaking save it before this shit crashes. If it will, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it three times. Just in case. I do not wanna have to deal with all this. That we have multiple saves just in case something would happen. You know? Dude, the only thing that we're only like 32% in this game is insane to me. Like, crazy. Alright. We gotta go to Trevor. Where's T at? Down here? Alright, let's go see what we gotta get down there. So I'll, uh, I'll cut to when we, when we pull up. Alright, just pulled up to a little hideout. What? What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that, Floyd? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? Oh, my Floyd! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? And look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! <laughs> and you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap. Yeah, 
Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, <laughs> Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is. I'm not afraid to use this. She's psychotic. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! Who the hell is Bob? You people are not very fucking nice. What's happening? Did we just... Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> Did we just kill them both? Mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interestingly... Ooh, yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. This man is insane. I know oh just the place. Oh. Go to the strip club. I just now saw the bear. I could run in and get Floyd and Look, there's a bear. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no. What in the actual hell? Play. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip. Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah. Just Sir, Wade guy. Or Wayne? Accident. Wade? Whatever the hell his name is. I think it's Wade. We sure have, but Who of an idiot. But it don't taste like Kira. Why are you tasting it? Right. Just uh. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last what, time I it? saw him, it was with you driving out to the quarry and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around. I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. Look, this is it. So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us at strip club? Oh, yeah. That guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm. <laughs> Here now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way Got we blood roll. all over him. Hey, you, you two, you two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there, and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo, prepare to meet your new partner. He's gonna make himself known. I'm assuming that the mission's hey, done. Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the um, the big one, the the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taken over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. Wait. Nice, hang ten. The hell was that noise? What in the hell was that noise? There's explosions. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Again. Alright, let's go ahead and go to Trevor. And then we will finish this mission up and then call it a day. IT guy, 
What's up, bro? Look, I know you aren't still fixing computers for a living. When are you gonna throw some work my way? Hey, if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, don't forget about me. Hey, man, I got you covered. If I need you, I will call you. Right? Don't force your shit. All right, I think we're here. Mr. Descent, good to see you. Come on, boss. We're gonna go in here. What's good, devil? Yeah, I feel you. level. Do any of you ladies like wearing clown face? Damn, I need a drink. Relax. <laughs> uh, freaking Wade. Um, am I going the right way? Hmm, I think so. This way. And to the right here. Can't run, so. Hey. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed dude, my man. ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What the is big the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there <laughs> and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Every time. Come in, you there? Right. Out of the bank. We're on a strict schedule. There's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 15:30. And Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point. So we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank. See if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey. Hey man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor be, eh? Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? But well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Hey, man. Look, dawg. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Of course. Well, uh, 
like liquid, like 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 uh, yellow like Gatorade. Mikey. Dead ass. Like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something they can help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Busting Brad out of the clink. I need to talk to Michael about it. Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Well, he likes money. Fuck money does make you. the world go around. Are you smoking? What are you doing? Alright, let's go ahead and go to this thing. Sorry if I don't talk much this episode, I've been, uh... It's 8 o'clock in the morning. I've been up since frickin' 6, so... Usually, it's not usually my hours of wake-up time. Unfortunately. You're the one who keeps talking about the schedule, Lester. I need a coffee. Come on! Uh. Okay. Mike's observations fit with your scheme so far. Yeah, the, the security's. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good point. Don't want him jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. Right. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is. Waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, Lester. <laughs> Okay. Right down here somewhere. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We're mapping the route and finding an ambush point. Stay with them! What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down. All right, we just gotta follow them, find a good place to hit them, so that way we can get their shit, and then they can't come out of it. The what big heist is so cool. I'm gonna, like, watch them. What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. My God! Time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. They really hit that freaking car hard, dude. Look at this shit. Boom. 
They're out of there. Right there, boom. Underneath. I've lost sight of them. Think they might be in the tunnel. Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. I'll go around. Meet them at the other end. I was hoping they'd come through here. This tunnel would work for a switch. They go in, you come out. Okay, yeah, I'd be a good switch. Okay. But now what? I'm picking up the cars. Right on time. Hey, it, uh, it looks like we're going to need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. One guy. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that. Looking for a big asshole. A big asshole, huh? Hey, I gotta get there, okay? Fucking relax. Okay, you go down a little bit more. All right, go to the airfield. Big bang into his house. I would rather just drive back to Franklin's house and take an helicopter. So that's what we're gonna do. Feel pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on, and then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor, get it done. Willie. I hope so, man. I hope he holds yeah, it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA and your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk. Oh, I forgot we got a new house. Frankly. Just later. Oh, where are we going? Cool. Alright, holla at me. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. <clears throat> I don't like how it's got money wheels. It looks so stupid. I just now noticed that. <laughs> Alright, guys. This is what we're going to be calling episode number 14 of the GTA 5 campaign walk. If you guys make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like, comment, and subscribe, and share with your friends. Always, guys, name is Johnny. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode of GTA 5. See ya.